Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can import facial bone characters uh, via FBX format into iClone 5.4 uh, for use with the iClone animation tools, facial animation tools. Alright, so here on the screen in iClone here we have our first G5 game bone character. This is very similar to uh, the regular iClone characters except his bone structure is fairly simplified. Uh, it's optimized for use with game engines. So let's take a look at the uh, performance of this character. So we'll go into the uh, animation tab here in facial animation. I'm going to open up the uh, puppet uh, tool here. And you can see there's a number of different uh, profiles here. This is his, his uh, custom profiles that he comes with. You can notice there's a, a bit of a difference between the way that uh, facial bone characters and facial morph characters animate. Um, since the G5 uh, facial bone uh, models are a bit simplified as, as far as facial bones go, you can probably get a bit more detail out of, uh, out of uh, morph, uh, facial morph characters. You can see there's a number of different uh, profiles here. You can also utilize any of the other uh, iClone um, profiles as well. For example, uh, Chuck is a very normal one. Use uh, the Chuck Scared. There you go. It's a little bit uh, not really as expressive as the uh, as the uh, normal profiles that come with this model. But uh, okay, we'll just go ahead and record uh, one of these. For example, maybe this, uh, this one here looks a little bit sad, but we'll go ahead and record that. You can see the auto blinking effect as well. All right, so uh, after we record that, I'm going to layer on top of that, show you another capability of uh, characters with facial bones. Um, I'm going to select the. Uh, I'm going to open up a vocal track here, and we're just going to open up this one here. No, 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 of course not. I would never say such a thing. No, no, I think this is all just a big misunderstanding. You see. All right, so you can see the lip syncing in effect as well as the uh, facial puppet. We created a pretty cool animation in just a couple minutes there. Um, in addition, if you want to go into further detail, you can go into the actor tab and you can adjust the uh, the auto blink uh, settings to nervous or speechless. They all have different frequency and different speeds. Um, as well, if you have uh, the eye uh, bones mapped in your model, you can choose the uh, look at uh, feature as well. So if I select look at cam, for example, my model will look at the camera. I can rotate around and see uh, See him uh, follow along with the camera there. All right, so uh, we'll remove the animation for now. And what we want to do right now is we're going to take the, actually take the FBX version of this character and bring him into 3D Exchange uh, to show you how the uh, procedure that you need to go through to uh, bring your character into iClone. So I'm going to load this FBX into 3D Exchange here. And once we load this up, you'll see um, the first step we're going to take is we want to select Convert to Non-Standard. And that'll uh, bring us to the uh, bone mapping process here. So we'll convert to non-standard in the modify panel on the right here. And you'll see you need to map all the bones, which for this character will be a snap because we have a preset for my human IK characters. So there we go. Uh, let's use that preset and everything's pretty much mapped. Now there's, there's a bit more mapping to do uh, for this model since it doesn't have any blend shapes for the face. We need to do some extra mapping for the face. So I'm going to select active here. Uh, for this uh, tutorial, we're not going to go into floor contact. We can go into the properties. You can adjust the feet offset, um, all the bones of the characters as well. For example, if I change the hip offset to zero, I'll give them a bit more of an upright stance there. And you can change the, uh, you know, the uh, offset of the feet as well if you'd like. We'll just leave that for now. We'll go into the uh, facial and extended mapping. So there's a little, more, little bit more mapping involved with uh, facial bone characters as opposed to uh, facial morph characters. Um, for example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my model's eye here, which I think is this bone right here. Yep, there we go. Normally you want to select, uh, with uh, facial bone characters, you want to select from the hierarchy on the left uh, to avoid selecting the uh, wrong item. But uh, I have my left eye selected. I'm going to choose map to left eye here. Alright, I'm going to do the same thing with the, uh, with the right eye. So we're going to find the right eye in the hierarchy here. We're going to select map to right eye. Now for this model, we also need to map his jaw bone, which I believe is this bone right here. I'm going to use the jaw root, and we'll just map that to the jaw. All right, and there's one more thing we need to map, which is the eyelids, which we're going to use for the uh, use the eyelids for the auto blink feature. So let me select my uh, upper eyelid on the left here. I'm going to map that to the upper eyelid auto blink there. All right, and then select my lower eyelid. And uh, after we do that, uh, we'll go over here to auto blink settings, and we'll select we'll go into our left eye tab, select our left upper lid and then set to lower eyelid. 
All right, we'll just do the same thing quickly for the uh, for the right eye there. Um, after upper eyelid, select this one, and go to the right eye tab, and we map that to the lower eyelid for the right side. All right, so pretty much our facial mapping is all taken care of right there. So we can just go to convert now. All right, now we don't want to apply to eye clone just yet. We want to go into the expression editor first. And we're going to add, actually edit some of this guy's expressions here. So you can see, of course, there's a number of different tabs in the expression editor. Uh, if I just uh, scroll over here, I'll give myself a little bit more room. Um, you can see that uh, with the in the head tab, um, I select upward, downward, leftward, rightward profiles. Those are all presets since my bones have already been mapped. You can further adjust those if you want by selecting it and rotating it. Uh, I want to go further downward, I can use the E hotkey and rotate it further downward. I'll just go into the eye tab for now since those are, all, those are all set. And since I've already mapped the eye bones here, I'm going to select the uh, rightward profile and rotate my eyes to the right. It'll automatically select those, rotate them to the left, and downward, and upward. So as my eye movement all set already. Now notice here that I have this uh, auto apply uh, setting. Uh, so if I have this auto apply option selected, um, basically every time I uh, adjust the profile, it'll keep that. If I don't want that, I can choose. I can turn that off. And if I uh, adjust my profile, I have to select the uh, set button after every different profile. I'll just save time though, and I'll, I'll use the uh, auto apply uh, for this tutorial. So uh, I'm gonna go to the jaw section next. Now um, there's a difference between mapping the uh, jaw for the uh, uh, morph base character and, and the uh, bone characters with the uh, bone characters, you actually have to physically move the jaw here as opposed to using blend shapes. So I'm going to select the uh, jaw bone here and drop jaw. This is the uh, furthest down uh, you'll get. So I'll just use the W hotkey and, and move it down. And uh, you can see that's my character's mouth wide open. Leftward, I can move it leftward. Uh, rightward, I can move it to the right. All right, and then uh, it'll pretty much um, set all these, all these other profiles as well for uh, facial or for jaw movement. We can just move on to the uh, Viasmi uh, tab here. Now, in Viasmi for bone for uh, bone uh, facial bone characters, it's a little bit more uh, complicated. Whereas with uh, morph characters, you can just uh, adjust the blend shape sliders. With the uh, facial bone characters, you actually have to physically go in and uh, or actually go in and adjust the uh, facial shape with the bones. So, for example, if I wanted the E shape, I can maybe like lower his jaw a little bit, maybe bring back the sides of his mouth a little bit as well. Uh, E. There we go. Bring back his uh, his mustache bones. There we go. So that's kind of like an E. I'm not a professional at creating uh, Vaisami shapes, but uh, uh, maybe I'll, I'll give you another example here. If we do a Wu, um, I won't maybe want to raise his uh, jawbone a little bit. Just like the upper jawbone. I'm going to bring these. Uh, side bones in here a little bit. So as you can see this will take a little bit more time uh, as, as opposed to just simply uh, adjusting blend shapes. Ooh. want to give his, his lips a, a woo looking shape. Okay, kind of looks like a woo. Come on, we can decrease the bone size to get a better uh, better view of it. So you can see, uh, kind of like a U shape. I'm not going to adjust all these uh, all these Viasimi, uh profiles here, since that'll take quite a while. Um, we'll move on directly to the uh, muscle uh, tab now. The muscle uh, section is fairly similar to the Viasimi, uh tab. Uh, what we need to do here is, um, for example, if you select the brow raise inner left uh, profile, oops, let's bring those bone sides up a little bit. I can't even see them. Uh, so brow raise inner left. We'll select the uh, inner left uh, bone on the eyebrow there and just raise that. Brow raise inner right. We can do the same thing with the, uh, with the right eyebrow. And brow raise outer left. And you can just continue continue on with this. Um, I'm not going to do too, ma too many uh, profiles. I'm not going to do too many profiles for this character since we already have the uh, eye avatar. Um, but what I'm going to do is uh, go to the custom tab. I'm going to show you something really cool. In the uh, custom tab, there's a number of different custom groups. And these each uh, correspond with different profiles within the uh, Facial Puppet uh, tool in iClone. Um, and what you need to do um, is for each one of these mouse movements, you need to create a different facial expression. So I'm going to select the upward one, and we can just go ahead and uh, go wild and kind of create our own uh, goofy looking expressions. You can kind of 
Get this guy really disappointed looking, bring down his eyebrows. He looks like he says, don't mess with me. Kind of maybe give him a bit more of a frown. Bring his mustache bones down a little bit. Um, even uh, bring his mouth apart. There we go. He looks disappointed enough. At right where maybe we can do something a little bit, uh, a little bit happier. We can bring those mustache bones up. Of course, if you press hold the Alt key and right click, you can rotate around to make sure you're not doing anything uh, too extreme. Maybe raise his cheeks a little bit as well. So you can see the. Uh, Quite a big difference from this one and the uh, previous one. So I'll create a, uh, quite an interesting blend uh, in my model. You can also do a downward one. Oops. And this is just a matter of you know fooling around with your uh, with the facial bones that your model does have. All right, there we go. So we have all these four four different profiles here. I want to see those in action in iClone. So I'm just going to close down our expression editor now. And what we need to do now is actually apply to iClone. And so that'll replace our model with the hair and the hat, that'll replace them with the, uh, with the bald version of uh, the character. You can see he lost all his hair here. We can go ahead and test out, uh, make sure all the, there's no animations on this model right now, remove animation. We can test out the uh, puppet profile that I just created there by going into the uh, facial puppet tool. And you can see that uh, It'll, I'll choose a number one. I've only, I've only set uh, one profile, so we'll just do that in preview. And you can see with my mouse movements, there's my disappointed mouse movement. And then the sad, sad one. And there's a suspicious one and the happy one. So you can see they blend together and create some pretty uh, interesting uh, expressions. And you can see with this upward one, my eye movement is, is quite far up. And maybe I don't want it to be that far up. So what I want to do is I can go into this uh, edit property uh, section here in my puppet tool and there's profiles, there's values for the, the uh, eye movements. So for example if I wanted my right eye movement to uh, be a little bit restricted, right eye and left eye, we can set that to 50. And I'll preview again, I'm going to close this down, we'll preview one more time and we'll see the difference uh, that makes. So this time when I go up, you can see it doesn't go as far into his head, it kind of just, uh, the eye is kind of set below the eyelid. And there's a little bit less eye movement. As well, if you want to go into more detail, um, you can also press the uh, F2 key once you're in this window, and press the F2 key, and you can set you can further set individual positions and individual limits uh, values for each one of your uh, each one of your features. All right. So, uh, for example, if you wanted your lips drop to, to drop even further down, you can set uh, you know higher values um, for the uh, for the Y uh, values here, or the nose crunch you want it to be more extreme. You can uh, set that as well. I won't do that in this tutorial. Um, you can fool around with that yourself. Um, it's kind of a custom custom setting within iClone. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Um, that's how you can import your facial bone characters into iClone 5.4 and use all the cool real-time animation tools. Um, so if, you, uh, if you're interested in other types of characters, you can check out our uh, how to import facial morph characters as well as hybrid characters, uh, which include uh, facial bones and facial blend shapes. You can check out those tutorials as well.